Hey guys, today I'm going to read The Ballad of Nessie, written by Kieran Lachlan, illustrated by Andy Harkness. In the bonnie blue highlands where the bagpipes play, lives a creature called Nessie, but it wasn't always that way. Before her great lock had never been seen, shy Nessie lived life on the moors of Glen Keen. She was rumoured a monster, which wasn't quite right, for she was really a softy with no bark and no bite. And with wee friends she had, the kind, loyal and true, they played hide-and-seek in a pond just for two. Until one gloomy grey day at a quarter past two, from a distant dark land came a tartan-clad crew. With no time to waste and a toot on a bugle, most expenses were spared for Tycoon McFrugal. This place is perfection. It's just what I need. With a few slight corrections, it'll be heaven indeed. Where once there were moors, McFrugal poked teas, and 18 mini holes where once there were trees. Nessie's small protests fell on naught but deaf ears. Her anger burned bright, her eyes flickered with tears. Then a friend scolded and told her, Keep a stiff upper lip. Do not cry, be a brave heart. Chin up now, pip pip. Nessie gritted her teeth and decided to pack her whole kitten caboodle and a dear friend McQuack. She set off to search for a new pond they could surf. A place with no golf clubs and no astroturf. She first took the high road and then took the low. For a new for a new place to nest, she searched to and fro. But every pond was empty, every well was dry, every trough was spoke for, yet still she had to try. She travelled each road and sought out every route. But instead of finding a home, poor Ness got the boot. And the reward for her efforts? It was always this quip. Only we babies cry. Chin up now, pip pip. Nessie finally wore out. She reached the end of her rope. Where do you go when there's just no more hope? Nessie stifled a whimper and the lump in her throat. Chin up now, pip pip, she recited by a rod. But no cheerful words could dull Nessie's pain. Slowly but surely tears start to rain. What began as a trickle soon turned to a shower. Nessie cried and she cried, she cried by the hour. She cried cups and pitchers, bottles and buckets. She cried tubs and barrels, quintets and quintuplets. For days Nessie cried, nay, for weeks on it went. Till one day she sniffed, her tears finally spent. In surprise she looked up at McQuack there afloat, dunking in a bobbin in what looked like a moat. Nay, it was a lock, Nessie gasped in delight. Surely it was paradise with no golf tea in sight. Nessie learned a good lesson on that bright, happy day, and it bears worth repeating no matter what folks may say. Do not be afraid to cry. It really is okay. Sometimes it's through our tears that we find a better way. As for Nessie and McQuack, they're still there, I guess. Still playing hide and seek all along Loch Ness.